This is the right ventricle up here. Coming to the echo lab can be stressful for me. For people suspected of having heart disease, this test is a gold standard. But well, an echocardiogram is an ultrasound picture of the heart. It has no radiation, it's just ultrasound waves. That being said, it's a, it's a test that causes a lot of anxiety. At Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, cardiologist Carol Watson says an echocardiogram gives her critical information about how strong the heart is, how well it pumps blood to the rest of the body. It does determine prognosis. It looks a little big, is it, were you dilated? I get fearful because I don't know what the doctor's gonna tell me. Amanda Daniels was diagnosed with heart failure eight years ago at 26. My heart was literally failing. No one knows why Amanda contracted a heart condition, but she'll never forget the fear. You're scared. You're scared that you're gonna drop dead at any moment. And even as a survivor. I was told I wouldn't be able to have children because of the medications that I was on and also because the strength of my heart was so weak. But with the help of surgery to burn away non-functioning parts of her heart and daily medication that prevents her blood pressure from spiking, almost five years ago with clearance from her doctors, Amanda gave birth to a baby girl, Sophia. Two years after that, she was pregnant again. It's a miracle having two daughters, having two babies, because I defied the odds. I was told I wasn't going to be able to have children, and here I am, the mother of two wonderful little girls. For a heart failure patient, carrying a pregnancy is a death-defying feat, but Amanda went for it. Because I was done fearing. Amanda will need medication for the rest of her life, and she still gets nervous every time she gets an echo. But for her, embracing the fear, embracing the diagnosis is very difficult, but it can be very liberating, and it allows you to live your life. I just happen to be living with heart disease.